Today, I'm here to share with you five of the best attack strategies at Town Hall 10 that don't need siege machines. What is up, my friends? My name is Echo, and we're back over here in Ben 10 for five more attack strategies that do not require siege machines to pull in three stars. Coming in first with the mass minor attack strategy, Town Hall 10 and miners are just a beautiful thing. You could farm with them, you could war with them, they are just completely dominant. And it's, this strategy was by far the most used in this war with between five and 10 attacks tripling with either queen charge minor or mass minor. Notice here the base is being narrowed down. You have the queen coming in from one side, the king from the other side, then the miners are gonna come right up the gut into the center of the base. Something that you need to worry about sometimes with miners is what's inside of the clan castle. And notice in our clan castle, we have a bunch of hog riders joining this party. Now lucky for the attacker, there was a lava hound in the CC. It was probably attacked earlier, so the attacker probably knew that there was a hound in a balloon. Poison spell will deal with that balloon along with a freeze spell to keep it from dropping bombs on your miners and hogs. And then the miners and hogs can pass through the rest of the base. If you guys want more strategies like this, first of all, stay until the end of the video because I have four more for you. But also subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for daily Clash of Clans videos teaching you to be a better clasher all the way around. Look at the heal spell placements getting some maximum value, allowing for all the miners left over in the base to be healed. And a beautiful thing about miners is they heal up even when they're underground and they can't be targeted while they're underground either so they really have an advantage especially if you're going against inferno towers when they go underground the infernos lose their target makes it reset and then the miners are coming in through and they're never really getting ripped up by those inferno towers add a heal spell on top of it guys and you have a dominant strategy miners are my favorite troop inside of clash of clans all together from start to finish miners are my favorite or i guess it's actually from town hall 10 because that's when you get them but man they are so dominant let me know down below what your favorite troop is in clash of clans and let me know if you agree with me and that would be saying that the miners are your boys they're your homies they're what you use really whenever you get the opportunity and here's the strategy if you guys want to train it up and test it out in your friendly challenges because that's how you train guys in friendly challenges and the second attack we're looking at here today is a queen charge dragon attack and this is something that you don't see that often inside of clash of clans it's not the most popular or most common attack strategy but we're gonna see it dominate this base here and do it without siege machines Look at the queen coming in from the southwestern side of the base. Baby dragon's been set to deal with that funnel. Make sure the queen goes into the base and only needing one jump spell, mind you, because the base is just oddly developed. And you can see the queen with the proper funneling can walk right on up into the base. Then one jump spell will get her a little bit deeper and she can get some massive value. The king was dropped with wizards behind and they are going to clear out everything down in the southern side of the base. Now, if you look at the defensive clan castle, we are seeing a dragon and we're seeing a witch and of course a bunch of those goblins. You need to make sure you care for that witch. If you don't, the witch will shut down your queen charge. Always take care of that witch or else you have some problems. Now, a cool thing about these dragon attacks are if you're unsuccessful with the lore of the clan castle, your dragons can push through and take it out. It's always better to try and get your queen to do that, but if you can't, it's not going to be the end of the world. Notice there's one rage spell left and our queen's ability, but the healers are there and under rage. Now, all the dragons were literally spammed, one finger spammed right in the western side of the base. Queen jumps on through. She's going to continue cleaning up everything over here, along with that baby dragon, which should get out of range of that archer tower. Really lucky and good value right there one balloon left in the back pocket of this attacker and the queen's walk is getting massive value that's why we're seeing so much love right here look at this rage spell coming on in making those dragons go ham there's a tesla farm over there and that could be devastating so you need to really take it out quickly queen is still pushing in through the base she took out another air defense the inferno tower will she be able to reach that last final air defense it looks like she's going to will she have and there's her ability now Part of the reason this attack was so successful is because the animal, which is the attacker on this one, is very efficient. They are very good with the queen charge. If you are not a good queen walker or queen charger, 
this will be more difficult for you. The queen was able to get through multiple tiers of this base through one, two, three, four, five tiers of wall, allowing her to take out the clan castle, air defenses, the enemy queen, and inferno towers, all from just the queen charge. So that's talking some value right there. Practice these queen charges. They're an attack, they're, they're a part of a strategy or part of many strategies that you can use forever in the game. There is no ending to queen charges or queen walks. And as I say, there's no end to queen charge or queen walk. What do you know? We're coming in with queen charge hog riders. So yeah, queen is still gonna do her thing. Now you're asking why were some balloons used? There's two reasons why balloons were used right here. One is for pathing. Two is to search for any air bombs or air mines that can be triggered and take out your healers. Think about it, a balloon only takes up five cam space while a healer takes up 14. What would you rather have an air mine take out, one balloon or one of your healers? Well, if you want your queen to live, you better have it take out a balloon because you don't want her to be short on those healers. At least four, sometimes even five if the base is really powerful. Now the wall breakers were able to come on in here with help of that freeze spell, open up that tier of wall and let the queen go a little bit deeper on in. Now she's not getting too deep inside of the base. There's no jump spell or anything like that. So she's gonna have to wall pound a little bit or she's gonna run around and talking about air mines, one just struck into our queen. Now the clan castle lore was successful. The queen's dealing with the enemy queen and the enemy king and look at this, more wall was opened. Queen's abilities used. Poison spells being dropped on top of all those goblins on the dragon. The queen, did she go down? She is still up and alive, my goodness. She dealt with the clan castle and both enemy heroes all at the same time because of the use of that rage spell. And that is awesome. Again, the value that you're getting. And who is this? We have Venom attacking on this one, which is definitely an attacker that knows how to charge his queen into a base and get that value. Man. There's something that's so beautiful about watching a queen just dominate inside of a base. And some people say it's easy. Just drop healers on your queen and let her go. Well, that is, there couldn't be something more wrong. And someone that would say that is someone that really doesn't know anything about Clash of Clans. And they should probably not even be commenting because they'd be making themselves look like a fool. Really, queen charges is one of the harder things to do effectively inside of the game. You need to know all the defenses, how many things, how many defenses can target the queen at one time, where you need to freeze, where you need to rage, when it's time to pop her ability. There is so much going on during a queen charge that uh, it's, it becomes one of the most difficult things, which is why only top level players or, or people up there can be really effective utilizing a queen charge. Now the hog riders are gonna clean up the rest of the base with the cleanup troops. Remember guys, Bring some cleanup troops when you're bringing hogs because you never know if all your pigs are going to die in the attack. And if you watched my last video with five different attack strategies, no siege from this same clan, you'll remember in the, in the mass hog attack strategy, I gave you the same tip. Always have cleanup troops. You never know when time is going to be a factor. This one pulled in a triple. Don't be one of those people, guys, that says that queen walking and queen charging is cake is for noobs because you're wrong. Another really strong strategy at many levels of Clash of Clans, maybe for some of you that are not big into that queen charge, is a Sui Lalo. Sui stands for Suicide Heroes. It means your heroes are going to come into the base and take out said objectives. They're going to try and take out air defenses. They're going to try and possibly take out the enemy queen. They're going to just try and take out defenses that could hurt the Lalo left over in the attack. Now notice a skeleton spell on the composition. That could be used to help take out the enemy queen as well. Our king and queen are getting their value by narrowing down the base and taking out some air targeting defenses, including the, the air defenses, the archer towers, and uh, the Tesla that were also available over there. Now we have the Lalo coming in. The queen is just going to die out up there, and that's okay. Her job has been done, hence the name Sui Heroes. Now coming on through, we do have goblins coming out of the clan castle, which do absolutely nothing to Lalo. They can't attack anything in the air. Balloons literally being hasted through the entire core of the base, healed up in there as well. I would have loved to see the heal spell. Oh, we have another heal spell. I take that back. The heal is dropped right there. Rage on the queen, skelly spell on the queen, and the queen will go down. She's targeting all these balloons in the air, while the guards, those skeletons, they are taking down that queen. And then the pups will help from the lava hounds as well. That is a textbook way to take down a queen with Sui heroes because your, your heroes aren't going to be able to do it. The queen's going to be nestled inside of the base. So rage, skeleton spell, and maybe one of your hounds is going to pop on top as well. And if you really want to play it safe, you could even freeze the queen. And I'm telling you guys, you're going to wreck 
queens and not have to worry about them anymore in these attacks. Balloons are coming on in on the final defense right there. And here you go. It's your chance to let me know, guys. What do you prefer? Going in an attack where your heroes are not as much as a key component to the attack or going in with something like the queen charge where your heroes they have that queen has a massive value which one are you more comfortable with and if you have a low level queen you're probably going to say something like this but if your queen is max level or getting close to max level the value you can get out of a queen charge is just incredible and of course it's all base dependent as well it depends on the base you're going to attack we have one more attack for you guys Let's check it out. Final base, final attack, and we have a queen charge, P.E.K.K.A. Bowler attack. Can we talk about how many queen charge attacks there are inside of this game? But not only that, how successful they can be, how powerful they are. And now you're coming in with P.E.K.K.A.s for funneling. You're getting bowlers are gonna crush the center of this base. It's basically, we're looking at like a P.E.K.K.A. smash right here. The queen is gonna meet up with those P.E.K.K.A.s, get the bowlers as well, and go into the base with the quad quake and tear it apart from the inside out. No hog riders in this one at all. They're not in the clan castle. They are not anywhere. The attacker, no, no, is just waiting for this kill squad to wreck the base. And that is 100% what they are relying on here. Now you have the healer support. You have the heal spell as well and two rage spells. Now one rage is being dropped right there, allowing for all these troops to literally go insane in the core of the base. Look at these bowlers throwing their rocks so quickly, just gutting out this base already. The base is gone. We have a few inferno towers that need to go down, actually a couple, but now there's only one and it is now gone. Queen, she's still going. Her ability wasn't used. One freeze spell left and that is a kill squad. That is... The whole attack is literally a kill squad, guys. There's nothing more to it besides a kill squad. And that is power. Just powering through the base. Now, our queen, she's rolling YOLO over here. There's a cannon. Oh, okay, she turned herself around. Good. I want to see her go with those healers. At the end of the day, you have a lot of power. But the only two things that can shoot over the wall are going to be the queen and the bowlers. So you don't want your P.E.K.K.A.s and your king to be stuck in a wall trying to get something beyond that wall and then having yourself a time fail. So you really want to try and keep your queen or at least a few of those bowlers up. Nice job with the freeze spell there. The queen's going to be able to go a little bit farther. Pop her ability right here and she will take out those final few defenses. But not only that, she'll clean up everything over here in the eastern side of the base. And this is the time where I ask you which of the strategies strategies from today was your favorite which one do you think you'd be trying out and utilizing in war which one are you going to train up and try to use in friendly challenges this is your moment to shine in the comments section also remember guys i'm live streaming three days a week over on d live also linked down below monday wednesday friday 12 p.m eastern we are on d live and playing clash of clans and also some brawl stars and my buddy klaus he's same time tuesdays and thursdays both of us are linked below. Come on through, show some support to us live. It's just always fun. Much love to Ben10 for having me come through and watch some of these amazing attacks and be able to share them with you guys. Guys, remember to use code ECHO whenever you're buying gems in-game. And thank you to all of my members over on YouTube. Even though I'm not streaming on YouTube, guys, you are still getting these emojis next to your name whenever you're there in the comment section and directly supporting me here on the channel. So if you guys made it this far in the video, you are definitely one of those people who is probably a member on my channel. So thank you guys so much. I can't wait to bring you some more rewards in terms of us time kind of thing. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you guys so much and I hope you liked these strategies. Make sure you check out this one before you go. Remember to be safe and be good. Let's <laughs> go.